Conditioning actually has three stages, as you see here. In stage one, the dogs drool in response to food, but they have no reaction to the bell. So, food is called an unconditioned stimulus. Because no special condition is required, the dogs naturally drool in response to food. And when the dogs drooled in response to food, that's called an unconditioned response. Things that happen naturally are considered unconditioned, while learned connections are called conditioned. Lastly, the bell is called a neutral stimulus because it produces no reaction. Stage two is where the conditioning occurs. Pavlov would ring the bell, then give the dogs food. This was repeated multiple times so that the dogs could learn the connection between the bell and the food. Pavlov knew the dogs had made the connection when the bell made them drool. However, if he rang the bell and waited too long, the dogs wouldn't learn the connection. This is called temporal contiguity. In stage three, the conditioning is complete. The dogs drool in response to the bell. Now the bell is called a conditioned stimulus, and the drooling is called a conditioned response. So, two things happened here. The bell went from being a neutral stimulus to a conditioned stimulus, and the dogs are showing a new conditioned response to the bell. You can also reverse the conditioning process. If you keep ringing the bell without giving the dogs food, they will drool less and less until the response disappears. That's called extinction. This concludes the video. Thank you for watching.